Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Marantz 2226B Stereophonic Receiver. It works perfectly except the lights. So today we're doing a repair video to show you how to replace those burnt out bulbs. It is very important to make sure that you get the correct voltage bulb for your receiver. If you use the bulb that's rated for lower voltage, you might risk burning it out. Now, if you use a bulb that's rated for a higher voltage, you might get a dim panel or no lighting at all. Most Marantz receivers tend to use a blue hue, so you could use a blue bulb for it, but if you can't find a blue bulb, you could use a cool white or warm white bulb. In order to measure your bulb, you'll need one of two things. You can get a ruler and use the centimeter side as you'll need to measure it in millimeters. The second option is to get a caliper, which would give you a more precise measurement. For this Marantz 2226B vintage receiver, we're using eight bolt bulbs that are royal blue and 29 millimeters in length. If you need them, you can purchase some over our website, spendcertified.com. We'll include the link in the description below. First thing you're going to do is take the top off. It's super easy. There's just these four screws on top and then the two on each side. Be sure that the unit is powered off and unplugged before you begin tackling the bulbs. We're going to start with the main bulbs, which are located just behind the little meters here. Just pop them out. Although this may happen to you, the plastic clip broke off, which does happen on older units like these when the plastic gets brittle due to age. We're using the heat gun on the next clip to try and prevent it from happening again. Then carefully wiggle the bulb back and forth to pop it out. Take out the light, replace it with the new one, then pop it back into the clip. Ah, the clip broke on this one too. The plastic is super brittle. We're going to use our trusty scotch tape to keep this steady. And viola, good as new. And now, here we have the lights that live behind the tuner section. Again, we'll be using a heat gun to try to avoid the clips breaking. If you don't have a heat gun, don't worry. Just be extra careful when removing the light board here from the clips and keep the scotch tape handy. Carefully remove the board. Then just go down the line, popping out the bolts one by one. Grab your new lights and carefully pop them into place. As a side note, most fuse bulbs use a bridge rectifier, which means that it wouldn't matter what polarity you use, but on some cheaper bulbs, the polarity may matter if it's using a DC source for the lighting but most bulbs use a, an AC source. If you get the polarity wrong, it just won't light up. Once that's done, push the board back into place behind the clips. Once again, we're just using the scotch tape to help secure it.
If you notice here, one of the wires came loose from the terminal. We're stripping the end of the wire and soldering it back in place. And that's it. Before you put the lid back on, plug it in first to check that the lights are good. Isn't that blue glow awesome? Now, put it back together the same way you took it apart, just in reverse. The four screws in the top and then the two on each side. We hope you find this video useful. It's very easy to do and this will translate to many other Marantz receivers and vintage receivers. And if you're ever looking for vintage electronics or need something repaired, check out our website at spencertified.com. Thanks for watching and please like this video and leave a comment below for more content like this. See you next time.